everyone. So today I am going to be doing a requested video. Um, on my last update video, and I asked you what you want to see from my channel, um, someone who is GGK11, she asked me to do kind of like a skincare regime of, of what I do on a daily basis because I get quite a lot of comments saying that my skin looks quite good and that I've got really good skin and I have to say it must just be the camera because I really don't. I get red cheeks, I get hormonal breakouts, I get... Oh, I get a lot. So, and I have dry skin as well, so, yeah. So, I'm just going to talk you through exactly what it is that I do my whole day of um, beauty regime, pretty much. So, I get up in the morning and I wash my face. And I wash my face with nothing but soap and water. I use Dove Soap. This is a pH-balanced, caring soap. I love this soap. I use it in the shower as well. So, um, I just literally warm water and a bit of soap and then I wash it off, and then I use moisturiser on my face. Now I have to say, I'm probably not doing what I should, but I use this one here, which is Olay Anti-Wrinkle Firm and Lift Night Cream. I use this during the day, um, and I've also kind of bought the wrong one, because this is for the 40 plus age range, but um, they do a 25 plus, a 30 plus, 40 and 50 plus. Now, the I would be the 25 plus one, and I find that what it says on the box doesn't seem to cater to my needs. It doesn't say about filling in fine lines and wrinkles, which is what I want. It doesn't say about firming the skin. Whereas this one says, um, fine lines and wrinkles, all night moisture, and helps, lock, helps firm and lock your skin. Now, I want my skin to look firm, and I want it to look soft, and I want it to look all the things that it says. But the 25 plus one doesn't say that. So I buy the 50 plus, uh, the 50 plus, the 40 plus one. Now, it just looks like that. It's just a white cream. It smells really, really nice. It hasn't got an offensive smell. It's really, really nice. Um, so, yes, I wash my face with soap and water, and then on this goes. Um, so, I go about my day, whatever I'm doing, whether I'm staying home, going out, gym, whatever. Then, when I get to the end of the day, I use the Garnier Simple Essentials 2-in-1 Makeup Remover. I use this to get my makeup off, and it's one of the shaker ones. If you can see, it's blue and white. So you give it a shake, and it all becomes blue, and then you take off your makeup with that. I use a damp cotton pad, because it's the best way. If you use it damp, it will hold the um, product a bit more, so you're not using as much. Um, then, I, because this, this has got oil to it, because you shake it, it's oil and water activated kind of thing. Um, I leave my skin about 10 minutes, and then I go to my bathroom, and I use this, which is the L'Oreal Paris Perfect Clean Foaming, Foaming Gentle Scrub, and it's exfoliating for all skin types. This comes in sensitive, it comes in, I think, oily, and it definitely comes in acne prone. So, I use this, you just put it onto the little applicator that comes here, and... Um, lather it up around your face and then wash it off. Then once I've done that I use my Lush Lip Scrub. This is bubblegum scented or flavoured, whatever you want to call it. Now I really need to buy a new one of these because this ran out on the 3rd of December which was like three days ago. So I really need to get myself a new one of those and it's actually, I don't know if you can see, it's actually kind of gone quite oily as opposed to granulated so I definitely need a new one. But after this I would use this. Um, I wash everything off, dry my face, leave my face for a couple of minutes to allow it to dry. And then I go back to my Olay Anti-Wrinkle Night Cream. And I just put this on a lot, not a lot thicker, but a bit thicker than what I do in the morning, just to make sure it's all kind of locked in for the night. And that is pretty much my skincare routine, regime, whatever you want to call it, done. Um, the thing I will say is I do get hormonal breakouts. I think every woman does, which... Oh, it's horrible. Um, but I do get hormonal breakouts, and the thing I find best for that is distilled witch hazel. I use this, and what I do is I either put it on a damp cotton pad or on a um, cotton bud, and I just dab this over any blemishes that pop up. It has got, in my opinion, disgusting smell, but if it's going to stop spots coming up, then I will use it. I get a lot of spots kind of knocking the table. I get a lot of spots all in that, this area here when I'm hormonal, so this is kind of like right under your nose, but it, it works, and I swear by it. So um, that is what I use. Also, you can use um, anti antiseptic creams like Germaline, Savlon, Pseudocreme. You can use those kind of things. But just be aware to make sure you blend it in properly, 
because otherwise you've got this like white patch left on your face and it just looks a bit funny. Um, and for hormonal breakouts as well, I use Keramask um, concealer because it will cover everything and anything. So um, also try and make sure when you've got hormonal breakouts or any kind of spots, if you're going to apply concealer with a brush, make sure you wash that brush with an antiseptic cleaner of some sort because um, or an antibacterial cleaner is what I mean, to make sure that you're not passing germs from one area of the face to the other. Um, so yeah, I hope this was helpful and I hope this helps in any way with people that are interested in my skin because I really don't think my skin is all that great but everybody else seems to comment and say it's nice, so thank you very much. But um, yes, thank you very much for watching, I hope this was helpful and until my next video I shall see you all soon. Bye!